Greetings, Earthlings. Um, today, in Australia, Australia, it's uh, the 11th of June, 2024, and um, it was 60 years ago um, today, uh, not 50 years ago, as in the Sergeant Pepper uh, lyric, 60 years ago today that they landed in Sydney at Mascot Airport. And I remember it very well. <clears throat> As I've said many times before, I wasn't the biggest Beatles fan, but I certainly liked them. I was a Stones guy, basically. But uh, I, really, I did like a lot of the Beatles stuff. And um, I remember because I uh, it was a school day, and uh, I can't remember if I was actually really genuinely sick or I just conned my mum into getting me the day off school, but I remember watching it on television when they landed, black and white TV in those days, and in a minute I'll have something to mention about the colour TV. Um, yeah, on black and white TV, it was pissing down rain, their, their umbrellas were all blown <laughs> inside out, and it was pretty exciting stuff. And uh, I think it was the same day as uh, the Voyager disaster where the Australian aircraft carrier HMAS Melbourne um, sank the destroyer on exercises in Jarvis Bay. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the same day, but it was around, it would have been the same week. So not easily forgotten. Uh, I never saw the Beatles. I never had any intention of seeing them, but uh, it was still pretty exciting stuff. Um, and w while we're on that subject of... Uh, Colour television. Colour television didn't come to Australia until 1974, and I had I was one of the first people to buy one. They were unbelievably expensive. It was a small, very small set, you know, only a, I don't know, 20 inch or something. Um, and yeah, it came in 1974, 10 years after the Beatles came to Australia, and celebrating in November this year. Um, is this classic album, Autobahn, the first proper Kraftwerk album. Great stuff. It still sounds as fresh as a daisy to me. To these old ears, this never ages, nor, nor do the three or four albums that followed after this. It's just wonderful. Um, this is the UK. Uh, design, which I much prefer to the um, painting by Emil, Sch Emil Schult, which was all right, but it looked like a Beach Boys album cover, you know, like, yeah. This really is what an Alto Barn was like. I've been on it. And it says here somewhere I read that it was in the, the, the song Alto Barn or Auto Barn itself was inspired by a drive from Dusseldorf up to um, Hamburg, and uh, I, I've been on that same uh, autobahn in 1978, uh, four years after this came out. So it, it, it's uh, I have fond memories of Dusseldorf. I really enjoyed my few months living there. It was pretty pretty exciting stuff, I can tell you. Um, so there you have it, and uh, so th that will be. Later this year, so I might drop dead before November. It's on the cards. Um, 50 years. Can you believe it, folks? Can you believe this awesome masterpiece of an album is 50 years old now? Holy moly. We're going to have fun, fun, fun on the autobahn. Uh, good night.